Right, come with me. I'm going to show you a pretty magnificent and unusual and beautiful collection of antique silver objects. All of which are going to be sold in auction. So I'll show you them, show you the estimates, and then I'll drop over the final auction price. Oh, something's been broken, I think. Let's just sneak by here. This is viewing day and have a look inside the cabinet. Let's start then with a pair of trencher salts. There they are, 1358. So two of these in the Georgian style, but dated to the 1892, the Victorian period. Now a trencher salt is something that you would put on your dining table to serve salt from, but it's one that didn't have a spoon. So they're not missing anything. That's just the design. So estimated at 180 to 250, they sold for 150. Right, solid silver coffee pot, very grand, very posh indeed. Looks incredibly Georgian, doesn't it? Like kind of 1770 in its style, but it isn't. It's a much later reproduction, and this is Queen Elizabeth II's jubilee year, 70 years on the throne, and this was made during Elizabeth II's reign. So it's very, very contemporary. And in the world of antiques, it's pretty modern. 1971, this thing. Superb quality, ebony handle, domed, hinged lid. But on auction day, it didn't actually make its reserve of £400, so it'll be saved for another day. Right, let's move on. Now, if you fancy a bit of grand dining, this is dessert heaven. Like, oh, heavy, very heavy pair of sugar casters, solid silver called casters, because look at that domed pierced top there. You'd fill that with sugar and then you would literally shake the sugar over your dessert, casting the sugar. So, oh, nice armorial there. So very posh family crest. Now these things, again, are, are reproductions. They look like they were made in 1750, but the George the Sixth made in 1937. Supreme quality, these things, estimated at eight to 1200. They sold for 950. I couldn't possibly leave this cow alone, my favorite piece. Look at it, solid silver cow. I mean, it is just dripping in character and personality and a bit of comedy going on there as well. Yeah, solid silver. It's Dutch, it's 19th century, it's a creamer. So this is used for serving cream at the dinner table. Now people from the past, our ancestors really knew how to dine. They put time and effort and money into beautiful objects to help them get pleasure from their food. I mean, you know, this is, there's no TV dinners in those days. Gorgeous thing. The hallmarks are a little bit rubbed, estimated at two to three hundred pounds. Listen, I doubt very much you're ever going to serve cream from this today. You'd probably kill yourself. But as a beautiful thing, it is just gorgeous as an ornament and everybody loved it. It sold for 380 pounds. And let's keep looking for the more unusual. So have a look down here, a little pair of Georgian, Georgia II, 1759 candlesticks there, chamber sticks, 2000 pounds worth probably, but not that unusual, surprisingly. Let's have a look. Teapots, all sorts of things, fish slice. Now that's, look at the bit of bling. That is lovely. Okay, so this is a punch ladle. So obviously for serving punch. It's silver with a fruitwood handle. Lovely shell shape, but look at the interior, gilded. So this is, this is literally gold plated. And because the gold plating is so mint after 150 years, you can tell that this thing has barely been used. But what would you do with it today? Unusual tight, hard market for this. Low estimate, one to 150 in pounds. Even better, it's sold for 70. Cheap enough.